have uh, in this month uh, Surah Munafiq in a month of light Subhanaman huwa khalaq nur in which Allah dress upon Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam's reality is a light and Allah on this seventh lunar month from the reality of the sultans which are the nine it becomes sixty-three and six and three is a nine, Surah 63, Surah Munafiq. So verse 10 of Surah 63 inshaAllah to Shahid Shahid. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَوْتِ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْلَا أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَى أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ فَأَصَّدَّقَ وَأَكُمْ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ صدق الله Surah Kareem that whatever we see in this world and all the du'as and istighfars and only Allah come into our life and saying and teaching from Holy Qur'an, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, Ana Abdukul Ajeezu, Da'eefu, Miskeenu, Zalimu, Jahad and by the grace of Allah that He has kept us alive till now and that Allah is warning mankind, everyone will taste of death. There is no escaping death, all the panic and rushing and in the end of that equation everyone will taste of death. Not the TV to put a fear into people's heart but a believer has the fear within their heart that, of course I'm going to die. Am I going to die by a flu, by a car, by an accident, by falling, by dying of old age? Whatever it is Allah reminding those who believe everyone will taste of death. And Allah's infinite rahmah when He sends something like this difficulty that death didn't take you by surprise because if it should take you by surprise then Allah's giving an ayat al kareem from Surah Al Munafiq how much you're going to have remorse. He's giving us a time, He's showing the whole of His creation which He loves and He created this creation with love on not wiping it down in one shot, it but one shout and Allah decimate an entire population in nations before. But all of this is now under the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad There's a nation that accepted the da'wah and the nation that has not yet accepted the da'wah, all of it is under the intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result Allah did not wipe creation out. He's giving them and us time. Do you see how everything is falling apart? Make your hisab, make your account. Make yourself to be good with Allah a reminder from myself is am I good with Allah And in this month this event happens and Allah Ayatul Kareem is describing what the believer will go through in his state of death and says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and spend in charity out of the sustenance that we have bestowed upon you before. Before you should to come to any of us, before you should come to the Divinely Presence and the servant will cry out to their Lord, Ya Rabbi, Oh my Lord why did you 
not give me a time and respite. Means why did you take me all of a sudden and you didn't give me a time? And what is he asking? Not the time for his praying, not the time for anything for his hajj, not the time for his fasting. But, Ya Rabbi why didn't you give me a time that I could have given largely in charity and that I would have been from the Salihin. And Allah is then teaching us. This station of Salihin, they gave everything in the way of Allah And when Allah is showing that every type of difficulty in your face and you're more worried about your account and bank accounts and stock market portfolios and we're not worried about our hisab with Allah and zakah and zaki to be purified, sadaqah to take away sickness and difficulty means and son, whatever they're making and amassing they're building a burden upon themselves. Like collecting viruses and germs and their body is festering with all sorts of infections. When difficulty comes the result of all their festering is what making them to be sick. We think, oh we want to blame somebody, we want to blame Allah doing this. He says, no, no, you're not zaki, you're not clean. Whatever you are making and doing in your life, you're, you're accumulating and festering all of this sickness. You're amassing money and funds and yet you're not purifying your soul and that which you have amassed, it became an infection upon you. It takes away your belief, it takes away your heart and puts the heart into darkness. Every type of sickness begins to amass upon that insan. And he's pleading to Allah why you took me like this? Let me to go back. Let me to go back and I'll empty my accounts so that I can become from Salihin. And that is the warning that awliyaullah are giving to us that Allah make your bargain. Give up your dunya for your akhirah. This dunya is falling apart. Why is it that you are trying to run after dunya, amass a dunya? All the money in the world won't save you from what's coming now. And if you should taste from death, are you prepared to meet Allah when He asks you, what's all that in your account? That you hoarded it, amassed it for what? Did you give in the way? of Allah to purify your own soul. Not that you gave it away and then you judge who you should give it to, or are they worthy of giving it to, it's not your business. Your business was to purify your soul by your giving. When you gave you purified and washed yourself, you cut all of the bacteria from the self. Then they come into our life and teach us zakah, it's of many levels, zakah of sharia is two and a half percent and with tricky accounting they end up paying five dollars and going. Because of this one, no this not gold, this two camels, this not a camel, this is a, a grain of grass. This is not the… Zakah is the minimum, is the 2.5 but tariqah comes and says, no, min kulli ma yuqalifal sharia, tariqah, marifa, haqiqa, azimah. There are degrees in which you are going to climb. Sharia, you gave the minimum and your hand shook and you're barely cleaning yourself. Tariqah, immediately Allah khudum walihum is what is the qibla on that wall, take their sustenance. I think it's Surah Tawbah which is the first bab of this way, verse 103. Surah Tawbah verse 103, Khuzum take their money, they're not going to give it to you. Take it and pray for them because it's making them sick. That which you keep in your account you will be questioned by Allah and bring every sickness upon yourself and your family. They take and make circles of paradise and make gardens of paradise. This here wasn't here before, a shaykh came into town, 
and forced everybody to give. And as a result now they have a circle of paradise and everywhere they go they try to make a circle of paradise. It's a circle of najat and safety and that circle of paradise gives to your soul eternally, not punishing your soul, blessing your soul. So then they come into our lives to perfect our faith and our reality. Zakah of tariqah, the shaykh comes and inspires, give, take the way of tariqah, the way of jihad al-akbar. In jihad in the time of Sayyidina Muhammad there was a 20% khums on everything. Anything you gained in the battlefield from the booty and the treasures, 20% was given to Prophet Allah is Rasul. Khums was something stopped but the taruq, no, no, it completely abides by that reality. They're not accepting 2.5% from anyone. Those are people who are, are still at the gate and just looking to come in. When Allah expires, make their jihad real. And what Prophet described, their greatest jihad is against themselves. The greatest battle today is to separate insan from his money because he's worshipping his money. Every day checking his accounts to see what it has. The shaykhs and their, their charities have accounts because they never know what they have to spend. They put $10,000 on this, they have $70,000 in food and now people who we never saw before they come here to get toilet paper because there's nothing available anywhere. <laughs> they never, they returned uh, everything that they, they got from here and today they showed up to get toilet paper. What in their soul they know that they were mocking before. Mawlana Shaykh Nazim said, a day will come the most expensive and precious commodity is food food, that people will be looking to the graves to dig up people to eat because there will be no food on earth. So it means it's not something small, only Allah they are planning 10, 15, 20 years in advance and everybody mock, 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 it doesn't matter like the ship of Nuh. But when they have nothing to eat and they're pounding on the gate, let me in, I said, but weren't you the one complaining about this was five dollars more than Costco? Go now in line at Costco please. <laughs> Don't you see the line that goes all the way around the block three times? There's no line here. That's tariqah, zakah of tariqah, the shaykh inspires for you, give from whatever Allah gave to you so that they can do their da'wah, propagate their message. You be blessed from everything that people read uh, on the internet, on a book, on a social media, all of it haqiqat al-Muhammadiyah of the highest levels of reality. But all the tafsirs and all the different videos of wudu, these are from the realities of the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad The one word and one letter that they read, what reward will Allah dress upon the soul of the one reading it? Imagine that's the one of the soul who's propagating and supporting it, the patrons of, of that reality. If they don't have a tongue to speak it, at least they put their money behind it to propagate the message moving everywhere. Because now we're even seeing this is now the Mahdiyun time, everything is now collapsing, boom, boom, boom. Zakat from tariqah, zakat al-shariya, zakat al-tariqah. Zakat al-Marifa. Marifa means now Allah want them to be people who witness and they begin to sacrifice everything in their life. Not they give from their property, they went above that. The shaykh began to inspire, you give yourself, put your head on the table. You become and you live a life of khidmah. That's why the shaykh inspires people, come along, let's go do our da'wah, come be of service here. Because this is the zakah of marifa. How are they going to reach to witness a reality when they don't want to put anything of their time, they just want to see everything? No, they already came through the door, they gave their minimum. 
Then they came to the higher level in which they're giving a lot from what Allah has given to them. Now they're at the door of marifah and Allah now again inspire with them, now give yourself. Because He says, how are you going to get to this station when you haven't achieved what others achieved from before you? They gave their life, their family, their wealth and all their possessions, you'll be tested like those who came before you. How are you going to reach these stations of iman when all those were tested severely, I'm not going to take any test, I want to reach the highest levels of iman. Then Allah said, no call them, that's why I said this tariqahs have a curriculum, they know the movement in which Prophet wants people. Whatever ridicule people want to give they don't care, with whatever trembling they're giving they don't care, take from them, then convince them to be of service, write. Post, do dawah, cook, do something to show the khidmat. This khidmat in the way of Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad opens immense rahmah. When you're praying, praying, oh Rabbi please spare my life, take away this sickness, take away this sickness, take away this sickness, Allah's like, why? Have you ever thought there's a voice on the other side saying, why? You actually, uh, you serve no purpose on this earth, get out of here. Look at go. But a life of khidmat, Allah says, there's no need to take you right now. You're doing great work, great effort. You're propagating the message and the, the image of my most beloved. So means then our hisab has something in it. If I serve a purpose for you, Ya Rabbi keep me alive. If I don't serve a purpose for you, I'm better off dead, I didn't want to be here anyways. I don't know how you got me into this station and to this dunya. I get durug migam mana khamush kun. What we're reciting, Ya Rab. If I'm telling a lie, Ya Rabbi, extinguish me. If I have a purpose for you, give me the purpose to do. If I have no purpose, I'm better off dead. Because every day that goes by without a purpose for me, I'm moving away from faith. I'm just becoming leisure and vacation time. So it means our khidmat and our way, it give us a purpose. So as a community the shaykh gives everybody a purpose, our purpose is our dawah, our books, our internet, our social media and now our big mauli. Six years mashallah in a, in a row it gives us a purpose. We're going to make a grand and beautiful milad al Nabi that is the zakah of marifah. The student now is giving of themselves and Allah begin now to accept their zabiyah. They are sacrificing themselves. When we talked about maqam al-iman was Sayyidina Ibrahim and Sayyidina Ismail. Sayyidina Ibrahim gave his property and Sayyidina Ismail salam, which is the lineage and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad which is much higher. And he told his Baba that, you were giving me, I was sacrificing myself for Allah Now is the zakah of? Haqeeqah. Marifah, you gave a khidmat and service. Haqeeqah, you put your head, you're going to sacrifice everything and every type of humiliation, every type of difficulty, every type of test becomes your way and their only response to you is, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. You have a mouth, they can open their mouth and fight everybody. But Prophet order, be humiliated for me, stay quiet for me, sacrifice yourself for me. Then they learn the ocean of humility. They took a way in which they're not supposed to respond. They don't care how much people ridicule and humiliate them, their life was to not respond. Where we saw? With Sayyidina Musa alayhi Kalimullah who speaks to Allah and being ridiculed by Sayyidina Khidr you go, you're not going to have patience. You, how could you have patience when you don't know anything? This is from the great Prophets of Allah But he took that path and that reality to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad I want to go where two rivers meet, Ya Rabbi. I want the reality of Allah Allah Muhammadun Rasulullah وسلم, What Allah asked of him? Then meet one of my servants who is going to humiliate you, stay quiet and big. For Kalimullah, one whom speaks to Allah ridicule, ridicule unto Sayyidina Khidr threw him out. If you think your shaykh throws you out, Sayyidina Khidr threw Nabi Musa out. 
Say, if this is me, you, me and you, it's finished. How could somebody talk to a Prophet just like that? And he took his, he took his, his the shamefulness for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad. So it means the zakah is an ever expanding ocean of reality. It's not I gave 2.5% shaykh, we're all good, I'm good with Allah Allah is saying, no, no. When they die the first thing they're going to ask Allah let me go back, empty my accounts. Because one, you're going to ask me for what's in these accounts and how did I amass them? And two, I could have reached a darajat, I could have become from salihin, which then would become shuhada. Then they would have taken you to Siddiqeen and Siddiqeen would have handed you to Nabiyeen and enter into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisira suratin fahiyah Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.